Hello viewers, uh, this is Dr. Rana and uh, today I am giving uh, one more lecture in the MATLAB series and uh, uh, going to prepare uh, one more code which actually solve the nonlinear differential equation. Uh, in the last videos I have already discussed uh, many codes using sh uh, shooting method, FA method. So today I am focused on the new method which is called the finite difference method but the easiest form I am going to use that is the explicit finite element method. So differential equation which I have chosen is the same which I have already solved with the shooting method so that you can easily compare the results or the complexity of the method. In, the, in this I have taken only single differential equation but don't worry you can easily solve the a couple set of differential equation using this method but every method is your has your own limitation so I will discuss the limitations of FDM explicit FDM later on but the method uh, which you uh, want so uh, to solve this is uh, actually uh, based on the Taylor series approximation. You know that the second order differential equation can be easily written as this the central difference uh, formula. You can use it for this where H is the step difference between the two consecutive nodes. So this is the approximation uh, using the difference formula. And this is the first order using forward difference and this is the central difference formula. And if I take T, which is actually the independent variable here, so it should be taken as I. I is basically, which I am going to use is actually the index for the for loop. So I will use this IH. It means that if your value of first node, its value I is 0, means you are at the left hand. As you go on changing the node, it means that for the second node, you want I1. So its value of t is h. For the th sec uh, third node, you want value of i is 2. So t will give you 2h. So it is a step difference which is dif uh, which has a difference of h. So you can use t as i of h. When you substitute these values and uh, in this equation, the first equation, so you will get this type of equation. So obviously you can see that y i plus 1 is also here and even here. Uh, don't worry, you can keep it to the left side and take everything uh, is as a denominator. But I'll choose it the simplest way. I've just substitute these values in the equation this. And from this equation, I have uh, calculated the value of y i plus 1 from this and rest I keep it the same. When you substitute it, you will get this type of equation which I am going to use. So this is a simple equation. So I will now quickly go to the MATLAB. I have already constructed a code for you. The easiest and simplest thing which I have used is that this function is same as like a FEM code uh, which I have already discussed in my series. So in the FEM code what I have did same thing clear all command uh, CL secant is the basic need. Uh, clear all is uh, clearing all the uh, already defined functions or you can say the clearing the workspace so clc the clear screen and then is called the number of nodes so you can take it minimum as 10 domain is 1 he is basically h which is here is h is total length upon the number of nodes so obviously x data set is can be given by this accuracy since you are dealing the non-linear differential equation so we know that this actually due to this red it's a non-linear so uh, so you can you have to choose some accuracy so that the two consecutive this is called the convergence criteria you can say that the word accuracy is not better you can write it say the convergence condition so convergence condition yes so what you want you have to initialize the nodes value first so u is your unknown so u i am going to calculate the u here so capital u i have uh, used here and the value is written as y here i have chosen u uh, for the sake of my simplicity i'll just go to this so u firstly i take the zeros everywhere you even take one it's it hardly matters but you take zeros total number of nodes uh, is actually uh, is yeah, okay this error is basically a number of elements and n plus 1 is called the number of nodes so I can say that uh, n plus 1 
and n plus one uh, is actually the number of nodes. Is the number of nodes. Okay. So means that this is actually the number of steps. That's why you have to divide with n. n. Otherwise, if your nodes is uh, eleven. You know that the step gaps or step uh, difference is total 10. So it's basically step difference and n plus 1 is the nodes. So you have, uh, if you 10 nodes is here, you have the uh, 10 uh, uh, gaps are there, there is 11 nodes. So here zeros are there. This is the end points, boundary conditions. You can say that it's actually uh, boundary conditions. So boundary conditions, you know that. What is the boundary condition here? So initially it's, it's at 0 means you are at the first node its value is 1 and 1 it's at the last node its value is E. So if you go to this first node its value is 1 the last node its value is E. So it's EXP of 1. So this is the convergence of the nonlinearity the same as in the FM I've used C is equal to 1 viral break this is the equation which I am going to update one by one because you are using the nonlinear. You have to initialize the function first and then using that you can use this. So what is this? This is the equation which I am going to write uh, in, a, uh, in a callback function. You can use that. This is the sub function here. So you can see that uh, we have just uh, uh, checking the difference of two values when it is greater than accuracy of this. St uh, then it will go on uh, updating the values and once it will cross it crosses this value it means that it's when the value is lesser than this it will automatically satisfy this function and break command will helps to take out from this for loop so this is a simple command uh, you can learn very easily so finally you will get the u as a solution so you two and I will going to plot it with the help of O's. This is the node values. I'm going to plot it and the actual solution of this differential equation. You know that it's e raised to power t. So I am just substitute here e raised to power x. Reason being x is the variable I have chosen here. So you can even write t here. It hardly matters if you wish to write t here. This is t he. You can use t here and same t here. So, what I have written here, this is the equation. The same equation which I drive here is I have written here in terms of MATLAB functions. So, important thing is that this is u is your first value, but here you I will not going to write u here because it will not work. Reason being. So this y i1 is the value at the next step and this is your first step due to the nonlinearity. It will automatically update it. You will just uh, initialize this value. It will give you u11 and with this for loop it will calculate at each node. So for 1 it will give you value at first node. First node is re reason being it is a boundary condition so you want it fixed. So I'll fixed same as u and this is for the end point. So boundary condition is fixed. What are the other values from 2 to second last value? So when I put 1 here it will give you value u2. u1 means that it's a defined value. And you can substitute the same thing, right? The see all thing. Uh, I'll be using he rather than h here. So he is your basic step difference. So substitute the value here and this function is ready and uh, it will call the function again and again with the help of this loop this is a function called here same function equation here you can once you go in this it will call the function again and again when i run this code you can say that this nodal values is your output from the fm and this dark line this solid line is your actual value so if I, I if I remove this
if I run this, yeah, it will give you values. Obviously, it satisfies the exponential value. But the drawback of this uh, method is that since so uh, its stability, so since a stability of explicit is not very good, so if I if you use this, if you increase the number of nodes, the value is automatically go go on increasing. There will be no change on the accuracy. If you increase the value of 30, then it's fine. But if you go more values, go to more, then it will diverge. You can, you can see the solution. The solution is not a number. So you have to take care that you start with the minimum value, like 10, 20 is sufficient for such type of problem, and you will get the solution. And you can see that it will it can solve. This is a simple code which can solve the nonlinear differential equation. If you have the more equation, like the couple set of equation, no problem. You can write the another variable u v here. Substitute the value of v here. Also, if function is you can write here, and write down the second equation here, and you can change this function as the new v1 and v here. If you have two equations, so same code will work for the two equations. This is all about the FDM code. So if you have any query, you can ask me uh, directly. Give your comments. If you don't like it, uh, then also you can write it. If you have something else to say, you can write the comments or even you can send my email at the scientific rana at the rate gmail.com. So uh, this is the channel. If you like this video, you can subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos. So till then, have a nice day.